Have you ever been out snow blowing your driveway and have something suddenly break? Did you ever think to yourself, wish I had that part in my stock so I could go ahead and fix it and get back to work? Keep these items now before snow blow seasons get in full swing. Let's discover in this video and welcome to MG Factor. In this video I'm giving you the best tips and tricks to survive the harsh winter snow blowing task. And if you really feel this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. You never know when these belts will go while you are out there snow blowing your driveway. Over time belts break and they take a lot of strain from heavy loads of snow and if it's been a number of years since you have either swapped out your belts or never touched them at all, your days are numbered and you can search the model number of your snow blower online. You can usually find the belts pretty fast. Getting one dry belt and at least one auger belt keep them in a safe place so you always have them for a snowy day. One of my neighbor actually rolled up newspaper in his auger before breaking his shear pins. You will definitely need some shear pins. Have couple of these on standby. These burst at the weirdest of times. One time I was snow blowing and underneath all that snow was a tree branch. It got caught in the auger, snapped my shear pin. The main purpose of shear pin is to defend your gearbox. They are made up of softer metal so that they can easily snap under pressure and you will know when you break one of these because you are pushing the snow blower along, you will just be moving a bank of snow and not throwing the snow. You can get a couple of them for just a couple of bucks. They are inexpensive and you can purchase them from your hardware store. Do not use the regular nuts or bolts instead of shear pins because they will break your gearbox. If you break one of these, no big deal. You just insert a new one, tighten it down and you are good to go. Most snow blowers are made of metal and if it's metal, it's getting sprayed with some kind of rust inhibitor like liquid wrench rust inhibitor fluid film silicon spray, even WD-40 do a great job protecting all metal surfaces on snow blower. I like to go ahead and just spray everything down and then just wipe it all evenly with a rag. Another tip, take your spray can, insert the spray straw and then go ahead and spray into any creases or bends in the metal. Inside these little slots, moisture get in and over time it starts to rust. Wipe it down and protect that surface if you neglect those edges for a season or two, I guarantee you will going to start to see some rust forming along those areas. Now take a rag and wipe down all the metal surfaces which you have just sprayed. Don't let any extra oil drip around your garage floor. And also remember to let your significant other know because they may occasionally walk by it and then get all that oil on their cloth. Now you want some gloves on hand because it's about to get greasy. Seasonal maintenance on your snow blower is important for its longevity. I like to keep a grease gun along with some grease on hand so that I can lube up anything during the season. Basically if it spins on the snow blower, it's getting a dose of grease. Auger soft wheels and gear pushing on a snow blower, grease is your friend. It can go a long way to help keep things moving smoothly. I like to lubricate all moving parts on the snow blower at least once a season. One tube or one can of grease can last many many years. Now pull your snow blower onto the mat. Please excuse me, mine is a little dirty. That's just the thing. They have saved me multiple messes in the garage. I really like how these contain the mess, especially with the higher edge here around the rim. I have had this one for a number of years. So that way they are not dropping anything on the garage floor. It's all contained here on the mat. Use Dawn dish soap. These mats actually clean up really quick 
and they hold up really well to salt water and all the different sprays that I put on them. Now if you leave a snow blower for a short amount of time with a wet rusty tire chains or skid on it, you are going to see rust marks like this one on the floor. I have actually done a video on this and I will have this link down below in the description. Pretty much every single time I am done using my snow blower, I will place the space heater directly in front of the augers to melt off any snow and ice. This is really important because if you just let that snow and ice build up and stay there in a cold garage overnight and if there is any snow and ice packed around the impellers that could be a big problem for you because you could break a build the next time you use it. That's all we have in this video. Until next time stay safe and stay healthy.